welcome back to the channel chaps uh, this is going to be uh, roughly about 20 20 minute video on the uh, the Armstrong Whitworth um, the meter this is the night fighter variant the mark 12 uh, kit by special hobby 172 scale um, so a little bit smaller than I'm used to these days but um, I've got to say the cockpit even though that part is upside down is uh, stunning uh, there's no other word for it it's amazing just a shame um, I don't think we're going to see a lot of it as you can see here we're just putting just putting some cockpit bits together and um, that was the um, the nose wheel uh, gear bay area and uh, this is just some cockpit detail I mean you can see um, there you go look, look at that that's lovely um, it's just I mean there is aftermarket open canopy for this I didn't realize until after the event possibly I should have um, <laughs> done a bit more research and um, I'd look at uh, getting one of them in instead of the uh, the closed canopy kit part <laughs> and we'll come to that it's a bit of a story in its own, uh, own right so uh, cockpit going together as you can see this is like the little radar um, uh, console for the for the radar operator weapons operator in the in the sits in the back seat um, the gear bay this is um, a little bit fiddly but it all goes together okay over engineered I don't know I mean it's okay I don't like to spend a lot of time on uh, gear bays because you, you ain't gonna see it are you let's face it so these go together like a four part um four part piece, eight pieces in there as you can see it's nicely detailed um the as you can see the wing all fits together oh, that bit that was upside down again i'm good at putting um parts in upside down and this this kit is, is pretty much standard special hobby uh, on the face of it it's looks really good uh, and on the most part it is a good kit some bits some part just aren't as refined as and others there's no um, lugs to, to uh, you know to connect the two halves of, of like the fuselage or the, or the wings together so it's all a little bit you've got to just kind of watch what you kind of watch what you're doing there's the wing. I've just temporarily take that together just to see what it's going to look like. There is a bit. It is a bit gappy in there inside, but again, you're not going to see it. You can see the detail on the surface there. It's quite good. Quite good uh, indeed. I'm just just clipping off some undercarriage parts here. Undercarriage is nicely uh, detailed as well. Um, but because of the way the meteor is designed, again they're not particularly visible but you can see it looks quite nice quite nice looking um, undercarriage personally I do struggle with them um, uh, getting undercarriage on together and so what I've done here to bit of preempt my struggle is just drill out some holes for the, the for the nose uh, for the nose gear at uh, style uh, primer for the inside uh, as usual as you can see it's all in black black style arrays you've seen all this sort of thing before what I might do uh, I think chaps I will think I might leave you just for a sec and then uh, we'll come back shortly So we've got MRP and medium C grey as you can see this uh, paint is lacquer paint pre-thinned there's no thinning, thinning necessary straight out the bottle into the airbrush set at a low uh, pressure 0.2 needle and off you go should be pretty easy it's a lovely paint to spray um, gives you a nice finish as well it's beautiful really this one here is 
just as beautiful, but, <laughs> but it does need thinning. And um, there we go. That's the stuff. That's the boy. So a 50-50-ish kind of mix. I'm not very precise, and you get a lovely um, uh, lacquer paint to come out. Uh, NATO black. This is one of my favourite blacks. I do like MRP blacks. They're ever so good. I've used this mostly for the interior. Um, the, the NATO black, as you know, it, it, it's the Tamiya uh, NATO, NATO black. Is kind of looks a bit different. It's got like a like a greeny tinge to it. It was just this more of a grey tinge to me. Um, this is the problem with. Um, British jet cockpits, early Cold War or even late Cold War, they tend to be black, which is really boring. Now these these um, ext extreme metal paints we've used to paint up the engines, um, the Derwent engines, uh, but Derwent eights I think they are, but um, you don't see any of it. <laughs> A complete and utter waste of time. But it's just an excise in. Um, uh, spray in really more than anything bit of a waste of paint we don't really use that much um, I think well I'll just here I was going to leave you for I'll just talk you through this this is um, this is just a green uh, Tamiya paint I believe and then this is clear green I want to get that um, the lenses on his um, on Mate's um, radar screen to look something like that but you don't see it in the end. Bit of dry brushing um, with, what did we use? The Citadel um, uh, Dawnstone, I think it was. It might be Longbeard Grey. I think it's the, the specialist uh, dry brushing paint, which is all it is really. Just a really, really thick paint. It's good though. Gives a nice effect. I'm just painting the, um, using MRP, the, the Aqua Color. Which is quite nice actually. I've only got a couple, just this and interior green, just to paint the wheel. Now I'm just the tire. I mean, excuse me. I'm just f forming up some um, really basic um, seat belts. Nothing special. Um, I could have bought, put some like some Second World War generic Sutton harness or something like that. Might have looked a bit better, but. Again, I, I, I'm a bit worried you're not going to see any of this. Because you, you can see here how lovely the cockpit is, and it's all coming together. Just putting some super glue just to keep the um, the side walls in place. They're a little bit a um, little bit loose, but. There you go. Looks really good. <laughs> you can see none of it. Looks okay. Even the seatbelt looks passable. Put it that way. So here we go. This is um, getting all the fuselage in the together, getting the um, the cockpit tub in, and we're using the the um, the Tamiya white cap, like a, like a I was gonna say like a poly glue almost. Quite good stuff. If you haven't got any, I'd get some. It's good for for big pieces such as this. Slower setting. I've got to clamp that up because it's not a brilliant fit. What I nearly forgot to do <laughs> was put some uh, weight in the nose. I literally this is last minute. <laughs> I think I'd even started gluing the back of the fuselage, and I thought, oh no, something's missing. I couldn't quite quite remember what it was. It's been such a long time since I've uh, I've done jets. Um, then this part is always a bit hit and miss. Have we put enough in? Is there too much? So you just got to um, gauge it as best you can. Um, this is just normal stuff. I think I might again leave you with some music.
Okay, the instructions do call out for, I can't remember what the exact size was, some trimming of the the wing uh, root area there, just to just for it to go in, on, so it doesn't butt up against the cockpit. But it, what it does do, it does leave you with a bit of a gap, which I'll have to fill. I'll show that later on. All looking okay, and it's been that long I've, I've done a jet that I forgot to put in. See the, it's okay. I forgot to put in the combing and the back piece. But moving on, I what I've used for the uh, the canopy mask, which I thought I'd better get one, was the Pwit stuff. This is the Pwit canopy mask. Now it's the only one I could find, and I took a bit of a gamble. I've never used Pwit stuff before, and it is great stuff. I highly recommend it. If this is what the Pwit masks are like, I'm going to put my neck out and say uh, they even might be better than the Edward ones. Uh, there's complex curves in this canopy and they all fitted brilliantly. Um, quite thin uh, material. Uh, look how well that's going on there. Really nice. Easy to use. Didn't curl up. Really lovely. Excellent mask. Peewit stuff. Um, highly recommended from me. <laughs> For what it's worth. Oh, here we go. Yeah, canopy. It didn't quite fit, so I've had to put a bit of pressure on here to get that to fit, and it comes and bites me in the bum later on. Right, perfect plastic putty is um, an acrylic filler, basically. Um, and what I would only use it in this situation, wing roots, uh, or somewhere that you. <laughs> Somewhere that you can manipulate it into, and somewhere that you'd you'd find hard to sand. Um, if you had like a sprue going there, you'd have difficult sanding, uh, sanding that, and you'd lose all your detail. So somewhere uh, that's got detail that you are hard to get into, I think it's, um, I think it's really good stuff. Um, some people don't like it, but it, it's it's okay for me. You could use. Um, it could use the 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 the, the Mr. Uh, the Mr. Hobby um, lacquer putty stuff, but I've I've done it before, and, and when you clean up with lacquer, this is water. But if you cleaned up with lacquer, you'd end up uh, well, I do rubbing the detail away. So this acrylic stuff, which is what the perfect plastic putty is, I think is okay. Clean down with the cotton bud, moistened with water. Job done. Bob's your uncle. Look at that, not easy um, for priming I've gone different T today on this one I've gone with um, 1500 Mr. Surfacer this is just like a spot primer to look at any parts that needed um, uh, attending and actually it wasn't too bad so uh, there's a couple of bits that needed just sanding back a little bit but I've just gone in straight away really um, this is uh, mixed I would say 50 50 but not precisely just so it's got a nice consistency. Um, I think this is just a 0.2 needle, lowish air pressure. Um, yeah, takes a little bit longer to, to set than the than uh, Star has, but gives a nice finish. MRP again. Um, I don't think there's anything here you need me to talk about, so I might um, I might just leave it with you.
the deckling now. Um, I didn't like these decals whatsoever. Um, you'll see if you look carefully, not so much this Randall, but the other Randall on the starboard side, uh, it, it does show that it's out of register a little bit um, and they were an absolute nightmare to put down. They were thin, I don't get where you can see it's out of register on the green. They were ever so thin, um, too thin for my liking, um, with them uh, curling, breaking up, difficult to handle. Um, had a bit of a bit of a nightmare with them to be honest with you. This is why the Declan part isn't really been uh, filmed as, as much as I probably could have done. Uh, yeah it looks okay but trust me it, it really wasn't. I'd recommend um, an, a, a different set of decals if you're getting this kit. What I'm getting trying to get used to is using up my X22 um, uh, clear gloss Tamiya stuff thinned 50-50 ish with a with the um, Mr. Leveling Thinner, gives it an absolute beautiful gloss. Just to protect them dodgy old decals. Um, I know some people think that they've got a good rep or special hobby decals, but these were pants. Payne's grey, just just darkened down a little bit with with a bit of uh, with a bit of a, a dirty. Uh, black mix just because the paint's great it can um, dry like a bluey color I didn't want the blue I just wanted like a like a light gray really so that's what this is just a panel wash um, it's okay it, it came out okay I did panel wash the um, hang on see what it looks like there let's see he's rubbing down of course with a with a, with a uh, dry cloth I think I did panel wash the the green with them um, with that green there, the olive green, um, straight out of the um, tube, so to speak, thin, of course, but it kind of didn't work really, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, the the wash was all rubbed down with a dry dry towel. I didn't show that because I didn't think it was necessary. We're coming to the end now, chaps. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for hanging about. Good of you. Please. Uh, subscribe if you fancy it uh, and give me a like as well and even the bell button and uh, give me a little bell ring and then you'll be um, notified of every every video I put up and I know, a, I know that's something you've got to look forward to isn't you? Uh, nav lights this are for the uh, Mrs X22 using as a, as a glue for the nav lights uh, that don't have lights the landing lights on the um, uh, front gear bay door there look Okay, chaps, I'm now going to leave you with some pictures. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. Uh, it's not my best work, but uh, hey-ho.